Yeah, we've seen some beautiful uh, sunsets the last couple of nights. As a matter yeah. of fact, I don't know if there's any connection there, but uh, well, that a lot of that's con you know centralized down in the southeast in the central area of the United States. But the same result would happen if that happened up here as well. We can see stuff like that with volcanic eruptions, all sorts of different things. So that's a fascinating story that 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 much dust can move that far across, but it picks up those trade winds across the tropics and ends up in the United States. Nothing like that coming up anytime soon though, Wayne. We've just got some nice weather tonight. We'll be drying out a few clouds out there right now. Looking pretty nice, so 71 degrees, 44% humidity, and uh, forecast for this evening if you go out. No rain, I don't see any rain coming up. Clouds starting to part, temperatures cooling down just a little bit. I am still tracking a few showers just west of I-5 now in Polk County and in Yamhill County and in Washington County. They'll continue to drift to the south. But a northerly flow is usually a drier flow, and that uh, will dry things out this evening as we continue with this uh, system over Idaho right now. That's spinning up uh, all sorts of scattered thunderstorms on the east side of the state. They'll continue to drift to the south in uh, north and central Oregon tonight and calm down. Now, one thing we did talk about earlier, still wind gusting to 30 miles per hour out of the west in uh, the Dalles. So you folks out there in the eastern end of the Columbia River Gorge, those winds will continue overnight before they back off uh, in the morning. Okay, 71s at Portland and Vancouver today for high temperatures, right around 70 up and down the I-5 corridor. Normal for this time of the year, 76. We did 60s along the coast and uh, much cooler over there in central and eastern Oregon with temperatures in the 60s. Quarter of an inch of rainfall out there in Astoria. Just one one hundredth at Portland, Salem, Eugene. Very light amounts here in the valley, and I think that'll be it until possibly on Tuesday. Coming up, our weather headlines. We'll call it a mild and mostly dry week on the way. Mild temperatures, uh, 60s at the coast, 70s inland. No big heat wave coming in anytime soon. And an early look at the 4th of July. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty nice. Might be the warmest day in the next uh, seven coming up. Okay, here we are, 8.30 tonight. We start to dry things out in the valley, certainly for you folks up there in southwest Washington. And then the morning clouds come back in the morning. Here's 8 a.m., a lot of morning clouds, but don't see any rain there. Then the morning clouds burn off tomorrow afternoon. But then as we move into Tuesday, that next system drops in from the northwest. A chance of a few more showers. I think this model might be a little overdone on the chances of showers coming up on Tuesday. Here's our big pattern, though. There is an upper-level trough on Wednesday of this week that'll be up over British Columbia and Alberta. But I, again, this is June and into early July now, so I don't think that's going to be a significant rainmaker at all. And then, as we get closer to the weekend, a ridge from the desert southwest begins to build up here Saturday, July 4th. I think we're in for some good weather coming up. Speaking of good weather, as we take a look at that seven-day forecast, you'll see a nice day tomorrow afternoon clearing. Temperatures right around normal for this time of the year. No rain, just a chance of a shower on Tuesday. We'll cool it down a little bit. And then again, we're off to the races Thursday, Friday into Saturday. Temperatures warm up to right around our seasonal averages. Again, I think we're looking at a nice 4th of July, Wayne. All right. And speaking of weather, you know, we finally did get uh, sports.